Our next guest was the first woman to win Bravo's Top Chef. She also won the coveted title of Iron Chef. And her James Beard Award winning restaurant in Chicago, The Girl and the Goat, is about to open its second location right here in LA. Let's say hello to celebrity chef Stephanie Anzard. Hi. I was telling you this in the commercial, but we have a lot of people who worked in Chicago that work on this, this crew, this staff, and they're very excited about your restaurant opening. Here. Oh, yeah. See? See, they're very excited. Why'd you choose LA? I mean, well, I mean, it's well, why not? shiny. Yeah, yeah, why not? Uh -huh. But also the neighborhood, we're gonna be in the Arts District. Yeah. When you go to the West Loop in Chicago, they're really similar, this sort of like gritty, awesome, like rebirth of a neighborhood. So we're just yeah. so excited. We walked into the restaurant, I was like, this is supposed to be Girl on the Goat in LA, so the cool. sunshine version. It's my favorite title, like, or, or, or title. I'm such a songwriter. <laughs> it's my favorite name for a restaurant. I think it's awesome. <laughs> so what are we making today? I told you, I warned you, I'm not good at cooking, so. <laughs> <laughs> we're making a salad, and I know it's kind of like, oh, we're going to LA, so we're gonna make a salad, but I think of salad the same way I do with everything else. Layers of flavor, That's textures, amazing. crunch. Yeah, so yeah. yours is gonna look just like that. I totally. You. <laughs> yeah. Um, but there's all these different things fate. going on. And I went to the farmer's market yesterday. Okay. I mean, look, I don't know if yes. I picked out all this myself. But I love it. It was amazing. Um, so we're gonna start off, we're gonna saute some shrimp. Okay, let's do it. Feel good about that? Yes. <laughs> After following you, yes. What are you so doing? We have uh, this green over here. This okay. is gonna be um, a marinade and it's also gonna turn into the dressing. Okay. So we're gonna drizzle a little bit on. This on has um, herbs, it has, a, I put like two big spoonfuls. And okay. Kind of stir it up, get it nice and even on there. Okay. Um, this has some herbs and it has some mayo and then it has a little of this, this little goat into Southeast Asia fish sauce. It's oh. a little sauce line. So it adds this sort of like funky saltiness that's awesome. Okay, and then what? We're gonna drizzle a little oil in our pan. You don't need a lot. Okay. It should be like smoking hot already. Okay. I feel like people always ask to like, how hot should my pan be? And I think people that cook at home kind of don't wait for it to get hot enough uh, and all their shrimp stick to the pan. This is, I'm one of those people. Right, okay. and now watch, I'm gonna say that my shrimp's gonna stick to the pan. Yeah, We're I can't wait for that enough. to happen and I'm gonna point it out. <laughs> Thank you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, but it's, so oh, it's moving around. Okay. Sounds good. So you just like kind nice of. And smoky. And we just want to get a little color on both sides. So we cut, you see how the shrimp's cut like in half? Yeah. So it's, uh, Isn't that called butterfly? butterfly or yeah, look at See? you, culinary terminology. I know things, <laughs> simple things. <laughs> um, while it's cooking, let's take some limes. I, someone oh. told me you like to squeeze limes, so I'm ready to I, see. I love limes, lemon. I love all this stuff, yes. <laughs> so squeeze some of it into the green sauce, oh, okay. and it's gonna turn into our vinaigrette. Okay. Flip your shrimp. You don't have to do this, but you could use your spoon. <laughs> I'm gonna burn myself. Yeah. <laughs> no. Do a spoon, do a spoon. <laughs> I'm gonna to do learn this. that in boop, 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 boop. <laughs> then we're Okay, just keep I wanna try it. Like I just gotta try it. I'm like competitive, so. <laughs> no! Yeah, I got I mean, some. You will still have a couple shrimp for your salad. <laughs> see, see? We'll just throw these back in there. That's what we do. It happens to everyone. Throw them back in there. <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. See, I'm just gonna put mine off to the side right here. I did oh. it like twice. <laughs> See, you're not a bad cook. I'm amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what do we do? What else we're we just put in there? We're gonna put some avocado. We're gonna put some. This is all stuff for the market. So some radishes to make it. I love everything texture. in here. I love radishes, strawberry, beets are like strawberries. Babes. I think that um, some people don't like fruit in their savory food. I love fruit. Oh, in my I love it. Food. It's delicious. And then we're gonna add some pickles. Ooh. So I love adding. We've got everything in here that's nice and fresh. We want to add a little pickly notes. Okay. We've got some pickled red onions up in front in one of the jars. I think mine all went to the bottom. Them. I didn't do that right. And then next to that is some pickled Fresnos. Are you spicy or not spicy? Love spicy. So oh, there you go. So you're gonna go hog wild on these pickled Fresnos. Then we're gonna take our okay. shrimp and dump it right over the top. Okay. I'm totally down with those juices getting right into our salad. Heck yeah. Good. Don't waste it. Yeah. I like to be as utensil free as possible. As few things as I have to wash. A little drizzle of dressing over the top, my favorite part. And then the last thing we're gonna do is put some crunchies. All yes. about texture. What is that crunchy? So this is, we just launched, um, it's called, this little goat is our sauce and spice line and we just launched everything crunch. Yes. It's goat goes on anything. See what we did there? I love um, it. <laughs> I love it. So this is puffed rice with pepitas, a little bit of crispy quinoa and some um, chilies, a little bit of lime powder. I'm just gonna dump like most of that all over the top. Okay. I wanna get a good bite. Like an you gotta awesome. You got to get one of everything in here. Yeah, exactly. A nice big bite so it's nice and easy to talk afterwards too. Mm-hmm. Good. <laughs> oh my God, I love all the flavors. Flavors, textures, pickly, spicy. This is the kind um, of salad I love because it's not like a rabbit would just eat it, like humans would eat it. Yeah, I like yeah, things in it's it. It's got as much going on as like any other dish. There's just some fun farmer's market stuff in it. 
Um, thank you so much. Thank I cannot you. wait to come to your restaurant. I'm going to take them with me because they, they're going to know what to order. <laughs> we have all these recipes on our Insta store. You've got to make this salad. It's so good. If you're in Los Angeles or Chicago, get yourself a reservation for Stephanie's award-winning restaurant, Girl in the Goat. And if you're not, you can get the recipes for Stephanie's double-duty marinade dressing, pickled onions, and pickled chilies on our Insta story. You're going to want it. My mouth's still watering. I'm going to eat this right after this break. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.